Sunday afternoon today and well we're just kind of hanging out it's nice and sunny outside the sun's out warm day so we've got a few things to do we were gonna visit a uh, another area of the Zezer River beach that we haven't actually explored yet today but let's see how things go um, so anyway for now I'm just making something to eat <laughs> so we got some really nice peaches here. I forget what call, what these are called, this particular type. But we got these, they're organic. We got these in the health food store. And so they're kind of nice. And um, also here, this plant here, this is incredible. It has a sort of lovely sort of lemony kind of scent, but it's really nothing to do with lemon as far as I'm aware. Uh, in Portugal, it's called Lucia Lima, or my parents call it Limonet. Limonet, and it makes a wonderful tea. So they have, it's like a shrub plant, and they have one out in there on their property. So I picked some, and it, um, you know, I'm just sort of drying it, and it just makes such a lovely tea with, you know, a little bit of honey or brown sugar or something like that. It's just very soothing, relaxing, and it really has just such a wonderful smell. So, okay. This plant, in English, and I didn't recognize it, um, is actually lemon verbena. So yeah, the wonderful lemon verbena. and such a beautiful scent. So that's what it is. And here are some huge lemons <laughs> that, um, we got from their tree as well, my parents. Um, and they're just massive. <laughs> they don't know what to do with them. They've got so many. And we of also them. got a load of grapefruits because they've got a grapefruit tree, which you don't actually see too much of here. In fact, I've never seen any here in Portugal. And then there's we got this bag of oranges here as well. It's just so much, lots of citruses. And here I've mixed some of the little peaches with some pineapple. So makes a very tasty little fruit dish in the morning. And of course you can, you know, if you want to add anything to it, you can, you can add, you know, raisins or nuts or anything you want, but I'm just keeping it simple for now based on what ingredients we have lying around. And this wonderful honey again, we bought this last time from Trajus Montes which is a place, a uh, village, I believe, in North Portugal. I've never actually been there. Um, and this is a rosemary honey, which is absolutely delicious. And it's bio-organic. <laughs> We're driving down a dirt road to get to a little kind of river beach area um, that we haven't been to yet. So let's see how that goes. That's looking pretty rough. <laughs> it's actually rougher in real life than it looks in the video. See, we're getting close to the river. See it through the trees, but it's a bit too rough to drive on actually. Unless you've got a four-wheel drive. Yeah, you can see the river. Look at that. <clears throat> anyway, we've kind of reached this bar. But look at the views. Gorgeous. It's like a lookout point there. And a place where you can probably park. But, um... I'm going to check this road and see if we can actually drive any further. Because we don't want to damage the car. And it's looking a little bit rough and narrow here. But we're actually quite close to the area where we're supposed to go. Look, there's the river there as well. Anyway, there's supposed to be a really cute little beach here. But this is not great for driving on because it sort of slopes down here and you've got to be really careful with the undercarriage. Well, anyway, it looks like they're in the process of making some kind of 
road system here, which I'm not sure why they need something this big, but oh well, whatever. Anyway, we're kind of getting there, I think, but so far, certainly wouldn't recommend this. Oh my god, that was absolutely awful. We didn't think we were going to make it. <laughs> that was a really bad way to come. We're not going to do that again. But anyway, we've made it here. Trail or road or whatever it is we just came on that Google sent us on, which is not a good way to drive down. Walking, yes. Driving, no. Not unless you have a four-wheel drive. But anyway, hiking trail that way and more hiking trails this way. Okay, Park de Merendas. It really just means a picnic area. So... Look at that, there's the river. Isn't that beautiful? And there it is. This is like a little sort of almost secret kind of picnic area and there's a guy fishing down there. So look at this. There's hardly anybody here and it's a Sunday. It's very private. And that's, I think that's the dirt road we should have come down on which would have come from a whole different area and not close to where we're staying. So this is the river, the Zezer River. Zezer, Zezer, I think it is in Portuguese. <laughs> so anyway, let's hike a little bit along here and see what we find. So this is kind of, uh, it's one of those places that really mostly just the locals kind of go to, you know, and they'll walk. Um, it's not really one of the big tourist areas. It's known to tourism. But look how special it is. Oh, look at that. Magical, isn't it? There's such peace, quiet. So far, just the birds and the water. No strimmers. You can see behind me, look how gorgeous that is. Yeah, and you could hear some music back there, but it was coming from some kind of, I think today is some kind of traditional festival day. Because there's this tra old traditional music playing. And I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> but you can hear it everywhere, but I don't know where it's coming from. Precisely, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's in the city itself, in Pedro Gaon Grande. I'm not sure. There's a truck up ahead, but it's Sunday today. So this is a nice, peaceful, hopefully relaxed Sunday. <laughs> if we don't go back up that road anyway, if we go the other way. And I'm hoping that that's gonna be hassle free. But I'm gonna be honest though, I have a feeling that <clears throat> they're making way too many wide trails here, roads, whatever. So I have a feeling on weekdays, they may be here working, this may not be so peaceful right now. Where's that going? Look at this bub. What does this go up to? Steps. Is it a picnic area? Ah, okay. Nice little picnic area up there with lake, I mean river views. You still hear that music, <laughs> wherever it's coming from. So anyway, apparently it's coming from a village over there somewhere. We don't know where <laughs> the music come in. <laughs> I mean, it's not an unpleasant sound, but when you come to a natural area like this, it's nice just to not hear human activity, human music, um, machinery or anything. And just to be able to take in the natural sounds, of the water, birds. Anyway, looks like we've kind of done a full circle. Oh, there's a fishing thing here. So can't even sit by the water because there's fishing lines there. Hmm. Okay, well, 
we managed to get out of that area. We've actually driven down to an area that I have actually filmed before, but I didn't get this far in because I didn't see the little trail that comes down. Anyway, the area where we were parked, way over there that we were just filming, somebody actually hit the back of our car <laughs> with their car. Can you believe it? I mean, there was just so much space there. And for some reason, he was just coming really fast on that dirt road and backed up and just hit the back of our car. Fortunately, there's no, you know, there were no marks or anything. So, my God, you just, you have to be careful. I mean, probably the best thing to do is park somewhere reasonably safe or whatever, you know, with easy access and then just walk to these places. That's what I'm, that's what I'm seeing is the better idea. <laughs> anyway, here we are. And this is a really nice area to already down there, look. So this is like a little cove. And this is where some of the expat people here, the English and Germans and people from Holland, um, recommend swimming. You know, the people we've spoken to. Uh, and you don't really see people, many people here though. This is Sunday. And it's a beautiful warm day. That's bad down there. So, but this looks like a, be a nice area to swim, you know, quite safe because it's in this little cove area. So it's sheltered from the wind. That's where we're going to come next time. And there's just a little rough trail going into it. Not any major dirt road or anything. And they put a little grassy area here, which isn't too bad. You know, it's, and they've made a little stone wall. You know, it's, um, it's, it's tasteful. It's not sort of, it doesn't look like it's damaged a lot of the natural area here, which is what I like to see, you know, changes made like to accommodate humans, but at the same time, without ruining everything, without devastating the place. See, look at this, just a little cove area. There's like a little stream coming down. There's some trash there. And look at this. This goes into the woodland. And then up here is the road. There's a little road that goes up there. And you can park up here. You can just kind of park up here quite easily. You know, quite safely. Easy access. You don't need to come down on any, you know, unsafe rough dirt road. So there you have it. A gorgeous, relaxing Sunday after all, after all the drama. <laughs> yeah, I hope they're not, they not fish in this area because there's a lot of fishing in some of these nice little spots and you almost feel like you can't go in there because they've got their lines there, you know. Look at all the little fishes. I wonder what they are. You can see them there. Very nice clear water. Might be able to snorkel here, huh? Bring the snorkel. Very nice. We have a little picnic here as well. So yeah, we're gonna head back now, I think. Because <laughs> it's already getting late in the day. And uh, sometimes it's nice not to have to do anything least one day a week so we've already done enough today anyways it's just uh exploring more of this local pedrogon grand area or pedrogon pequeno i'm not sure anyway pedrogon area and the river zezer so see you next time thanks for joining us <laughs>